Hey, how's it going, everybody? Movie Phantom here. And, uh, yeah, got my double feature ready for you guys tonight. First, we got Good Night Mommy. Yeah, one of my favorite movies from last year. And uh, we also have Mountain of the Cannibal God. Oh, yeah, let's get into this. All right, so we're going to start things off with Good Night Mommy. Now, I did say my favorite movie from last year, but it actually was released two years ago uh, in its native uh, Austria. And, uh... I think it's Austrian. Austrian or German. It's one of the two. Um, but uh, yeah, it was released over there. Now, I believe it was released elsewhere, too, but it didn't come to uh, the States until last year. And uh, the basic premise is, you know, this, um, these two boys, uh, you know, they're home and their mom returns. And she just recently had some uh, plastic surgery done or whatever. And they just have a feeling that this is not the same woman who went in to get the surgery done or whatever. So they're kind of a, they're leery of her and everything. It's really hard for me to give a full review on this because there is just this twist ending. Now, I'm not going to lie to you guys, you will see the twist ending coming a mile a fucking way. In fact, the uh, first time me and Maya watched this movie, and I'm not, I'm not exaggerating in the least Two scenes in, I s knew what the fucking twist was. I didn't want I didn't want to run it for her. But I told her, I was like, I already know what the twist is. And she's like, nah. So I took a piece of paper and I wrote the twist on it. And I tucked it away. And the movie's over. I pull it out. I go, there it was. That's the twist. Um, but it doesn't take away the fact that it's enjoyable. In fact, uh, you know, I watched it, thought it was really great and everything like that. But then uh, when I rewatched it for this review, no one, like, I mean, because, like, you. Even though you can see it coming a mile away, you're still you're focusing on it for the first time or whatever. Uh, so this time that you know it's my second time watching it, I was able to just kind of sit down and like you know okay that's the twist. Let's just watch the movie, and it's still a really damn good movie. And it's very terrifying. Um, you know the boys at one point, and I don't want to get like I said I don't want to give too much away, but you know once again they don't believe it's their, it's their mother, so they definitely go after. They try to basically, I don't want to come out to say torture, but it, they, 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 they do. They, they literally, they uh, got her tied to the bed and they're, you know, trying to get her to confess that, you know, that she's an imposter. And, yeah, it's really some brutal shit because, I mean, dude, she puts in, and I can't, I can't pronounce her name. It's like, uh, Suzanne Wust, Wust, it's like West with a U thrown in there. Uh, but, dude, she does an excellent job here. Uh, I will say, if you've seen if you've seen the trailer, the trailer is definitely, and even part of my review, I guess, uh, it's definitely misleading because they present you with this kind of movie with this kind of plot, but there's definitely, like I said, the, the, the twist will annihilate all of that right off the bat. So uh, I highly recommend it. Like I said, it's a it's a slow building. You know, the tension's definitely there, uh, and once again, don't let the fact that you know. Don't be that person like, yeah, it's a nice twist coming to my way. Enjoy the movie for what it is, and it's, it's a damn good movie. So I, I recommend it. I highly recommend it. Good night, mommy. So, all right. Uh, what I, was, I love about this is, and I'm not sure maybe all family videos do this. I don't know. I just know I live in Redneckville, like big time. Like the common theme, or you know, a common phrase you hear a lot in this town is, yeah, I don't want to read the movie. If I don't read, I grab a book. And I guarantee that guy has never picked up a book in his life. But uh, they literally put the stickers. This is like this is for family video. This is subtitle. <laughs> Just so when the rednecks are going by and are, well, I can get this movie. Got to read it. So uh, I just love that. So uh, yes, that was a good night, mommy. Sorry for the. It, it's, a, it's, a, it's a short review, but once again, I can't say too much because it does, you know, give everything away right then and there. I'm not, I'm not a big spoiler guy. Come on now. Uh, so then up next we got Mountain of the Cannibal God. Going back to 1978. Um, like I said, I've been trying to hit uh, some Campbell movies up, you know, watch these, like, you know, cycle of stuff. And uh, brought me to this one. And the basic premise is, they're, they're, they're all pretty much the same basic premise, but, uh, you know, this dude goes missing in the jungle. And his wife and uh, his brother-in-law, who's, you know, her, her brother, uh, are trying to, you know, find out what happened to him. So they hire a guide and they go in and they look for him in the jungles. Um, I will say that of all of them I've seen, uh, this is probably my least favorite. Now, I'm not saying it's a bad movie. 
In fact, it's, it's, it's very enjoyable. Uh, this seems like it takes a lot longer to get to the shit. Like, I don't know, it seems like in most of the movies, you know, 10, 15 minutes, we're, we're in the heart of the jungle and cannibals are doing their thing. And here it takes a lot longer, it felt like, um, to, you know, get to it. Uh, it has Stacy Keach, and I can't pronounce it. Uh, Ursula... Oh, fuck. I'm going to get shit on by everybody out there. Uh, I can't have... I'm, I'm blanking on her name. I don't have a DVD of it. Uh, but anyway, uh, they, they all put in really good performances. I, I really dug it. And I, I definitely dug Stacy Keach. I'm a big Stacy Keach fan anyways. He's always one of those guys who... At least for me personally, I always saw him in like supporting type roles. It seemed like he was always like, you know, either the bad guy or, you know, just a little side part or whatever. So it's kind of cool to see him as almost, you know, a leading role in this one. Um, like I said, the movie itself is really good. I uh, love the score. I don't know what it is about these Italian uh, cannibal movies, but the score is always fucking spot on. Um, my thing, you know, I'll be, I'll be honest with you, you know, I kind of want to rewatch it again because of this. And I'm going to spoil this one because this is 1978, so, you know, you guys had a chance. Um... The one thing I didn't like about it, but then it makes sense as the movie moves on, like, you know, my gripe was, you know, the four of them, there's three of them, and then they get joined by a fourth guy uh, who are, you know, in search for Henry, the guy who went missing. And there's a scene where uh, her, the, the brother-in-law screws over uh, and ultimately kills Stacy Keach's character, which is another shock because it literally comes out of nowhere. I mean, even though the, when, it, when the time got there, it didn't really come out of nowhere. You can see that fucking, you know, you can see that Montreal screw job coming a mile away. But, uh, but once again, you're just like, holy shit. But he kind of, he does it in front of, like, the other two. And they still continue on. Like, even though the, the, the new guy gets a little pissy about it, you know, the sister smooths things over. She's like, let's just, you know, let's just find Henry and, you know, continue with it. Uh, but you, you, you find out later, because like, first of all, I, I left a really bad taste. I'm like, what the fuck are we still doing in the jungle? Like, I'm sorry, I see you literally screw over, you know, person in need of our, you know, on our little expedition here, and you want to continue? Fuck off. But, uh, you, you do realize that later on that, uh, her and, uh, her brother were in on this, and they were, you know, they're just as greedy, you know, saying they're trying to get, you know, they're, it's a search for uranium. And so, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a whole plot of the thing. Um, but once again, uh, we don't really get a whole lot of, I see, my, my main complaint would be, I wanted more cannibal carnage, I guess you could say. I wanted more fucking craziness from the, uh, natives. And you don't get it until literally the last reel of the movie. I mean, you get, like, some jumps up here and there, and they set some traps here and there. But, like, nothing really goes down until they get to the mountain. And, uh, they get captured, you know, by the, by the natives and everything. Uh, and once again, but there's only... There's really only two, because the brother-in-law don't make it much longer now. Like, he gets taken out pretty fucking quickly. So, and, you know, you get your two characters there, and it's like, ah, we don't, you know. So, I don't know. I, I, that's my big complaint with her right there. But, you know, it still it hits all the, you know, uh, you know, we got nudity in this. We got uh, tons, you know, it, the carnage is still there, even though it is, you know, hell for last uh, scene. Uh, dude gets his dick cut off. That was my, like, my, my one, like, eye-roll scene. And that's because the guy got his dick cut off because he definitely had it coming. Because what happens is they they kind of make her their goddess. Like, you know, they got her tied up and everything, but they're like, she's our goddess, you know. So they got her you know, up there and, dude, this, like, massive orgy breaks out, right? And, and, it, it, and it gets crazy. Like, at one point, uh, bestiality even makes this uh, appearance in this movie. <laughs> And you, and you can't even be like shocker fan because it's, it's so goofily put in there. Like it's almost like last second they're like, oh shit, we gotta have somebody fucking a pig, and they're like, fuck, why do you say so? Film scene or what? They just filmed it and they literally just threw it. In. That's what it felt like. It literally was because it's just a cutaway, a quick cutaway. You don't even see anybody else around. Literally, it's just you just tell it's like a last second. We're on the set. Let's fuck a pig and put it in the movie. But anyways, uh, after this orgy and crap, you know, dies down the feast. Uh, this one Islander dude, Islander dude decides he's going to rape the goddess, right? Now, you got to remember, we're not in a village where she's kept in a hut. It's literally just one massive, like, cave set. Like, it's all, it's like, it's, it's not even like a, a full cave. It's like an indention inside the mountain, you know, they're inside that, and they're all there. And this guy's like, I'm going to rape the goddess. I'm going to untie her, rape her, she's put up a struggle, she's screaming, and it's like, 
yeah, you're going to get caught. Like, how did how did that even, like, how do you think it's going to end? And sure enough, they catch him, and they cut his penis off because he's trying to fuck their goddess. Uh, it was just so, so, you're just kind of like, what? Like, I'm, I'm, I, you know, for story purposes, I'm all for the native trying to rape the goddess, but it's like, this is the most ill-conceived plan. Like, yeah, really? But, um, and then you get this one midget, uh, Native guy, and he was just fucking to watch. Like he just, he had a hard on for like the guy. I mean, he was just constantly like, you know, look, making eye contact with him, and then he makes a special trip down just to try to torture him and everything. It was, just, I don't know. Like I said, overall, I'm giving it a big thumbs up. I really dug it, but it really it does drag a lot more than other movies uh, from this subgenre does. Uh, but uh, I, I would recommend it. I mean, I'm sure you guys have actually probably seen it, but uh, if you have not yet made, uh, if you're like me. A late bloomer into this world of uh, cannibal films, uh, then you know I say check it out. But like I said, really, it it, it it's, doesn't compare to like you know Hannibal Holocaust or uh, Cannibal uh, Fair or anything like that. I mean, but you know, I am curious if uh, they had a couple of animal deaths in this movie. I'm just curious if they were real as well, because that's the big you know controversy on a uh, Holocaust was you know all those animal deaths were in fact real. So when I'm watching this, I'm just like, shit, is that or you know they really kill that giant lizard or what the fuck? Uh, but yeah, so that's that's that. Guys, uh, so recap, Good Night Mommy, check out. Uh, Mountain of the Cannibal God. It's actually uh, right here on YouTube, so you can check it out too. Uncut for right now. Uh, I, whenever anything's uncut, I say check it out because it'll probably get flagged eventually and then deleted. So, uh, But it's on here, so check it out. Uh, guys, that's all I got. Have a great weekend, and uh, yeah, we'll see you at the uh, Sunday, or sorry, the Monday showdown. So, later.